my name is uh, Jan Delmas, and I am the R&D director for the product development of uh, implantable cardiac leads and their delivery system at uh, Microport CRM, which stands for uh, Cardiac Rhythm Management. Microport takes care of aspect of uh, verification, validation, plus over uh, dimension of uh, model uh, certification, uh, which seems complex, but at the end, the objective is uh, really to uh, structure and formalize the output of all the in silico trial simulation to push them to regulatory approval processes, which is key for, I would say, the adoption of this kind of model in uh, the process of pushing products to the market. So, in fact, we offer a full solution for uh, cardiac rhythm uh, management, but uh, this is uh, implantable. Okay, so we do uh, we do the pacemaker and the defibrillators and uh, we do the leads and then we do all the monitoring system that allow the, uh, the cardi cardiologue to make the di diagnostic. Specifically, Microport will support the initiation of the development of European standard and uh, their main uh, purpose will be to add this new in silico model as a potential base for the new standard. This is really what we are trying to push here is the link between simulation and research and product and certification of a product on the market. It is essential to have this uh, validation and verification validation of the model uh, to be able to use in silico model in terms of medical device and drug approval. Uh, this is really the game changer that we are targeting for and the acceptance of this kind of model by notified body is only possible with uh, data which are deemed, uh, I would say, verified and validated versus the real life. We are at the early phase of a discussion on the verification and validation. Our work as Microport will start, in fact, in the second step, which is uh, taking, the, uh, taking the data and preparing them to, uh, to push them as output to the notified body and saying, look, so we have simulation which are correlated uh, to uh, real cases and which are coming from a verified I would say software. We think that this is suitable for a discussion about validation of a project. As a company developing product, the added value is clearly facilitating regulatory approval. And what we are trying to achieve here is bringing back, I would say, the time to, uh, to get approval to something reasonable. We have today challenge in terms of animals and clinical study which is uh, taking time to organize, to follow up. So having regulatory bodies aligned on the validity of in silico models is going to uh, provide us with a way to make product devices and drugs available more rapidly. The addition of uh, in silico trials so simulation is also a way for the patient to have access, uh, in fact, to safer data. Being able to use in silico trial with simulation offers to the patient the possibility to have a product which has explored, in fact, much more than what we do today. So the added value for the patient is speed to market, but it's also the ability to uh, explore uh, much more uh, possibilities of patients than what we are doing in reality. So my vision is, in fact, uh, not a vision, it's a reality. Today, what we are seeing is that uh, in silico trials are already used, at least to assess design and performance in the development phase of products using a cohort of digital patient, patients or a test setup. So this is there. And FDA, for example, is leading the way in organizing activities to make results acceptable in the clinical section for the approval process. So it's there. It's not something that uh, we, we dream to have. It's happening. But once accepted, the benefit for shortening the development cycle of device and drugs, in fact, is going to create, and this is where my vision is, is we are going to create a positive circle of investment in modeling and validation. When we start, I believe that it will accelerate and push for even more in silico trial and even more uh, complex modeling and even more complex understanding. There is one aspect which is personalized medicine, but on the other end, it's also being able to look at a much more complex aspect of the problem that today we are not able to do with a classical clinical trial. So the vision is that it will benefit the patient because we will be able to understand much better what's going to happen. It's a worldwide push and there is a huge work of, uh, of working with uh, the different European notified bodies. The, the interest is to be able to 
to modelize uh, many different opportunities. And what we know is uh, it's complex uh, with only a single organization to access all the problems. So being open uh, is very important. So being able to join uh, such a consortium for us is, uh, is very important. And it's allow us to think about things that we could not do by ourselves. So at least, yeah, I want to say uh, thank you for uh, European community to organizing, uh, for organizing this kind of uh, groupment. It's complex. Uh, it's different world working together. It's not easy. But uh, it, has, uh, it has the benefit of uh, putting on the table all the knowledge that we have today and making sure that we can uh, be type. So 